What's going on everybody? Scar here coming at you again with another Park Detect campaign video. We're getting into episode 2, 3 of the campaign. We don't count the first one. The first one was just a tutorial to get us used to the game. We're getting into the second actual campaign mission, which is the Chanute Airfield. What it is is a small airfield base has been abandoned. Now it's become available for use. This looks like an ideal spot for amusement park. If you can work within limited space, the old airport structures and landmarks are need to be reserved. So what we have to do is probably build our rides around these landmarks and buildings. So hopefully maybe we can build some interesting things. So the, uh, what we need to have is 250 guests, sell at least 400 park, tic park tickets, complete all the non-optional goals by the end of June year two. So what this is, is that we have to get 250 guests. Sounds pretty simple. Last one we got in like six months. This one, hopefully we could probably get it in just as long. I don't know what the budget is, so maybe we may not be able to. The other thing too is it wants us to sell 400 park tickets, which means we have to have 400 unique guests in the park within within the time actually to be honest with you it says the optional goals need to be completed by the by june of year two so actually we only need to have the first part done the second part can be done at a later point whether if it is done within the time frame whether it's not all right let's jump right into it and see what's going on so so far from what i've experienced that park tech seems to be a pretty good game i've been enjoying every single moment of it there's still some systems that i need to get used to uh, I'm trying to figure out where my park actually is. Um, so I think I'm actually... So from what it looks like, this strip, this is our amusement park. That is that is what we're working with. So this is going to be quite interesting. So that looks like to be our building to get all our supplies. Those buildings need to stay there. The airfield. Uh, where's my actual gate? That will actually determine... All right, let's spin the camera around. All right, so I think my gate's somewhere in there, is from what it looks like. All right, so this is going to be a little tricky. You know, we don't have as much uh, space to deal with. So we can't have, like, very wide. It's going to be a very long park, like this way. It's not going to be a very, like, you know, very square park. So that's going to be a little bit of a trick. But, you know, let's jump into it. We paused the game. We only had 22000 dollars to start off with let's build some things that you know we're looking to get let's build with the rides because you know hey uh let's maybe maybe we'll hold off on getting supplies and stuff already uh before we actually really get into the park building so we're gonna drop our plane ride like so we're gonna drop an entrance over here put the exit over there let's build a couple pathways get going so first, you know, we're at an airport. What it might as well have a plane ride, if you know what I'm saying. Like, who would not want to go to an airport and not go on a plane ride? Whether it's a kiddie ride or if it's, you know, a fun ride. And then we're going to get another gentle ride. Let's do the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel seemed to do very good in the last park. Darn it. Uh, I thought it was in my way, but in reality, it was just the menu. So I actually exited out of the wrong menu. Um, let's see. So we're going to put that like so. So that's actually right there. That's our pathway. So we're actually going to probably put... Uh, hold on. We're actually going to put the Ferris wheel literally up against... This is a little unconventional, but we're going to put the Ferris wheel right up against uh, uh, the other ride. Now we're going to drop in... A s that the one? Yeah, that's the one. So we're dropping in the same pathway that we have for the park. Uh, we're going to drop a little entrance thing like so. Can't be too crazy with the entrance. Because we still need to uh, get a pathway around that ride. Um, let's just go in here again. We're going to drop in customizable shop. Don't know what that means, but sure. Well, it looks like in this one, we actually have a lot of various um, things that we didn't have in the last one. We have balloons, we have burgers, cotton candy, hot dogs, hot drinks. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to hold off on this just yet, but we're going to keep that pathway open. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's get a thrill ride going. We have two gentle rides. Let's get something called the jumper. I don't know what it is, but you know, you're at yet again an airfield. Might as well have something that's a little intense called the jumper. 
These menus are a little tricky from what I feel, from what I've noticed. They get, they, they kind of pop, they kind of hide themselves, but then they also pop up where you kind of don't want them. Um, but, you know, it's something that we're just kind of have to work around. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if the menus are something that you kind of also fight with, like I, as you've seen me do. Um, I appreciate it to let me know what you think. Also, if you've been playing the game, let me know what you think of how this game is. Uh, like I said, I think at the start of the video, I've been enjoying this game. You know, I've been trying to crank out as many of these videos all at once. Um, you know, these style of games are like games I used to play as a kid when I was younger. Um, I like I was a big fan of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I feel like I mentioned that also in one of my previous videos. I'm just trying to get the right bench so we're, we're matching. Uh, it's got little legs, I think. It's this one. Uh, but from what? What the hell? Why can't? Oh, uh, did they put like this? Is that like a bar? I'm so confused to how they did that. Uh, fence. It was like a, it's like a little bar, almost. Like a looks like a little grind. There we go. Okay. So I'll put two of those, okay. So now we should be able to copy for the most part and put the bench, yep, right against that bar. Perfect. All right, wow, we're, we're getting really into this building. You know, that is a little bit next level compared to what I've been doing in my last two, my last two videos. I mean, granted, one of the videos was a tutorial video but i feel like that is some next level building stuff right there we're kind of copying the idea that they kind of already put in place so you know what we got three rides going why don't we just open up this park let's get the people cranking in here let's see what the people are talking about you know what they want us to do um you know what this park is gonna be one of those parks where we're not gonna we're only gonna charge a dollar to actually uh come here and uh hang out but we're actually gonna charge for rides so the rides themselves are gonna generate income this time around Actually, you know what? Let's just make the park free. You know, people are going to be like, wow, free park. No way. You got to pay $0 to enter this park. I would t definitely go. I mean, granted, this is like a little like trick. Then they could be like, oh, you know, I have to pay to actually do this. Um, let's, uh, we don't have a janitor. So let's get a janitor going. He's going to be walking around. We're going to get the mechanic walking around. We are going to, we don't need a hauler at the moment. So we're going to get these two guys walking around. Um, might as well build them their little pathway. Sweet, sweet. But yeah, so, so far this looks to be like a pretty good park we got going on here. Uh, I didn't actually check to see what kind of roller coasters we could build. Maybe we want to do one of those. Let's see what kind of roller coasters they give us. A junior coaster, mini coaster, and wild mouse. So Wild Mouse, from what I'm aware of, is the one that has a, like really tight corners. Why don't we do a little junior coaster, you know? Let's just uh, get that going. So we're going to start it here. We're going to go four pathways. You know, let's add one more. Why not? Uh, then we're going to go up the hill. You know, we're going to start, we're going to start, we're going to start small. And then we'll get like no, you know we'll keep it nice and gentle, nothing too crazy. Okay, sorry, the mouse controls are a little weird. Uh, let's just skip ahead. Let's we'll build like a large incline. Large incline. All right, let's smooth that out. Flat. And then we're gonna just kind of like build it downward a little steep downward perfect a nice little four we're gonna level this bad boy out yeah that's looking pretty good right there and then we're going to what is that break block break okay cool 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 Mm, they're just gonna nice little easy guy Whew. 
45 degree angle. Uh, oof. Oh man, is that gonna be a little too intense? Damn. Don't have enough. Uh, I guess we'll build this. Yeah, that's cool. This little two drop guy. I mean, that looks a little wonky. I don't know how I feel about that right now. Am I moving in time? Oh, we're gonna pause that. I don't wanna be losing money while we're building. That's a little, that's one of my emphasis, that's one of my things is that you never wanna build anything when you're running the time. Just because uh, you don't wanna like have something hit and next thing you know, you're like, where'd all my money go? Not saying I'm like losing money, it's just you know, it's just like a Is that good? I mean, it's a very basic concept. You know, it's just a very straightforward. Damn. Helix, half helix. Did that work? Oh, that's a, that's a down helix though. No, we're, we want to go up. Maybe not. Well, you know, you know what. This is actually probably going to be like the only ride on this side of the the park. So might as well actually just kind of end uh, the ride here. And then block break. Because just in case, you never know. You don't want it to, like, straight. I'll turn the block break off and then turn it. Done. Perfect. Uh, entrance. Exit. Now, I should be able to, hopefully, make the line... How do I make stairs? That question. How do I want to make? No. 
Oh. Hold on. No. This is being dumb. Alright, so I have to kind of pick. Hold on. Nope, stop. Nope, that's not what I want. There we go. And then we go downward. Perfect. Flat. Done. Done. And then we build a super long ride here. I feel like this thing's gonna be filled up so fast. That's what I think. Um, what we also need is we need some benches because you're gonna come off this thing. You're gonna be feeling sick. You're gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? So we need to put in some benches here just in case you feel a little ill when you get off the roller coaster because I know some people do get like that. Um, the other thing too is because we're out so far, we might as well put some more benches. Perfect. Um, the other thing I like to do that I didn't do in the last park, but I like to do in most parks is that we're actually gonna go track builder, close that, close that. We're gonna go into the deco. We're gonna go into signs. I like to put up a path sign here, uh, facing that way. Uh, and then no no entry signs. So people can't now go back up the roller coaster sign and then decide to be like, let me see what's up over here. Um, I always feel like that's something that I like to put in. It just kind of helps traffic if there is any. I'm not saying there is going to be traffic, but you know what? It, it just kind of helps is, is the best way to put it. Um, you know, while we're here, might as well get the deck already. Why don't we just start? I'm thinking we kind of, uh, what do we need? We need fountains, large lighting trees, topiary. I wonder, why, why is the topiary so small? There we go, we're getting some trees going. Who doesn't want some nice trees? Oh man, all that shade, people love shade. Uh, let's get, uh, is that what I already had? No, this is, this is a different one. Perfect. Uh, we have, let's get a big old couple of willows over here. So you have some shade by the queue while you wait. Makes it really, really cool. Um, because I think the roller coaster is gonna get busy. Let's play some televisions all up in this. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this part going. Let's put on a little bit of a faster speed. Let's see what the consensus of people is saying. People are happy. People are 50-50, a little tired, a little hungry, a little thirsty. Their immersion guests don't want to park until the buildings enjoy being induced. That's going up. Nausea is going down. Toilet use. Okay, so people are starting to get a little thirsty, a little bit hungry. So why not? Let's uh, let's put this baby baby on pause. Let's get let's get the soft drinks going. You know, people love their soda pop. Uh. You know, let's do hot dogs. I love a good hot dog, you know, when I'm at, when I'm at the amusement park. Um, let's also get, you know, hey, why don't we get a little information kiosk going? You know, people want to know what's going on in the park. Um, 
Perfect. Let's get a little bit of a pathway going. All right, let's put in some plants, planter. That's not very good. Shrub. There we go, perfect. So put that there, that there, that there, that there. Perfect. Now it's a little bit harder to see the pathway. I know it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Let's put this back into play. Let's see how this all plays out. Oh, we don't have a bathroom. That's probably also beneficial to have somewhere near the park. Is a toilet. Because people need to go to the bathroom. Awesome. We have 40 people. So we're not going to go too heavy like we did last time. We have a little bit more time to get the guests in the park. Uh, so that's a plus. We are currently making negative money. Uh, but we're going up. Like, uh, if you look here, last month we spent $8,900. This month we've only spent $1,000, which is on the concessions. So really all we are down is just money for the concessions. Uh, a little bit of an operating cost, but as we play more, we'll get more ride emissions. We will hopefully then get some more, you know, we'll get some more money from our various, various food things going on. Oh, we don't have a hauler. That would probably be helpful. I forgot we forgot a hauler is a thing. We're still losing money. All right, guys. It's been about 20 minutes. I know this is going to get a little, a little iffy, but we're going to come back in the next video. We're going to finish up what's going on uh, in this park. Hopefully, we can hit the dollar amount. Or not dollar amount. We'll hit the guest amount that people of people we need in the park. We're going to expand this park. We're going to make this park look super awesome. I hope to catch you in the next video. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you want a particular decoration or want me to try to build something, which is going to be very iffy, may take a lot of time. But you know what? You want me to try something different? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you like this video. I will catch you in the next video, and I will see you around.